the owner uh, of the property could not be here he's away for business uh, we apologize for that my name is David Seppel and uh, I'm the owner of uh, New England Design and Construction and we are currently doing the design uh, the architecture and, uh, and later construction for the project and uh, the property is five tiles in place so uh, it's four you notice the, uh, the blue is this chimney close-up shop from the existing roof deck and there's two uh, birds out. so five five tiles in place uh, is a very uh, there's only four there's only three homes on the property uh, it's more of uh, if you walk it's off Tileson Street and, uh, there's a gate that lets you down it and um, the proposed project is to add a story and um, and move the roof, the existing roof deck up a, up a story. The, uh, the current property is about 1,500 square feet. Uh, Mr. Jacob, Jacobs recently purchased the property. He lives there with his wife and two children, and uh, they're looking to add a bedroom and bathroom in that, uh, that what would be a fourth floor addition. And um, a very similar uh, project by the previous owner uh, went through the same process and it was approved they just never went through with it they were going to use it as a family room but otherwise the plans are very very similar and um, the main the main the, the reason that we need uh, zoning approval is the proximity to the Paul Revere Mall um, it's not uh, directly abutting it but it's within 100 feet and so parks and recreation approval will be required. They, they requested that uh, we, we, uh, we go through uh, this process first and then, and then through them. Uh, there are renderings on the other side of that board showing uh, what the view changes would be. Uh, you know, pictures from the Paul Revere Mall now to uh, what it would look like with the proposed addition added. The, uh, the home is surrounded on three sides uh, on Tileston Street and then uh, on the two sides it has a building in front of it so it's, it's pretty well blocked as it is and it'll, it'll remain that way even with the addition uh, so the uh, the impact on abutters will be minimal but uh, the one abutter who it would most affect has has signed off uh, these are the proposed plans front and back uh, these are some some elevation view showing uh, what the what the new addition would look like, and um, the abutter um, right here has a window that the addition um, would come to be pretty close to proximity to, and they have signed off on it. Uh, that's now, and so um, that's that, that's the project in a nutshell. How tall, the, um, how tall is the building now? Um, I need to reference that drum. Thank you. It's uh, 31 feet, and uh, with the fourth floor, it would be 40 feet 8 inches. And, and the roof deck? Yes, the roof deck is going to be just, uh, it's not going to be framed. It's just going to be uh, <coughs> more like a patio type. type. Uh, there would be a head house as well. What's the house? Uh, the head house would add about eight, eight, nine feet. So the total height is forty nine feet. Yeah. And that current room deck exists it's just within like the same structure. With the head house, correct. So basically just moving it up every proposal is just to move everything up one floor. What did you say about the they were all notified? They were all notified. Um, and then the the on the other side of that, um, this this neighbor right here, which is 17 Towson Street, or 15 Towson Street, it's a, oh, five, five. 
15 Thompson Street. They are most affected because there's a window that's in pretty close proximity. Uh, so that's their their signature. Um, but what's their last name? Buildings under trust, I believe, but uh, John Prugnail and Maria Pia Prugnail. Yeah. Okay. Anyone on the council have any questions? Anyone in the audience have any questions about anything? Is the total height be with the head house now? Can you uh, do the one thing? I know we robbed just so people know where you live, just a kind of building. Approximately 50 feet. Anyone else? I don't want to occupy the right, so we don't want to do that. Single family, yes. Yeah. And it doesn't be easy. Have there been any like complaints or noise ordinances on that? Uh no. Not that I'm aware of, and um, we've gone through the uh, NURA, so um, uh, that, but there has been any complaints that I'm aware of. You've been before the, the zoning and licensing, you haven't gone before the zoning and Yeah, you did. Yeah, 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 we did actually. And there was, they voted and, and voted in favor, so. No questions? Anyone want to make a motion? Do you have a question, Dick? No. No, no. A motion? Anyone? I'll make a motion. Thank I'll make a motion to support uh, the zoning relief to impose uh, an existing group of a single family for use as a bedroom and bathroom as well as an extended stair to allow access to a new bedroom. Anyone second the motion? Second. Motion on the uh, board to uh, uh, support and seconded by Ryan at uh, the Park Tileson place seeking zoning relief to impose an existing group of a single family use of the bedroom and bathroom, correct? Correct. As well as uh, a staircase to allow access to a new roof that all in favor? 9-0, unanimous. Congratulations. Thank you.